Welcome to the Yukon in North 61. It's important to know what your goals are. So uh, I'm killing myself to lose weight. Why? Health. I want to be around for my kids. But secondary, hey, why not do some solo sheep hunts? Uh, why not build my credibility so that I could be a good partner for other people to go sheep hunting with? A lot of people don't want to go out with a 100 or 295 pound guy because they don't want to be waiting their whole time for him to catch up to them. I would catch up, but it's slow. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, but I would like this to be my last backpack hunt where I'm this fat. It's too hard. I can do it when I'm slow. Then you run out of water. It's always a rush to get to the next water hole. I gotta be able to keep up with these kids and they gotta wait for me all the time. So, I gotta up my game. And once you start losing weight, it's amazing how you get into this mentality of, oh my God, I am so much more mobile and fast. So, I have a 100 ounce Leica with its tripod and I'm not gonna take that solo hunting. If all I wanted to do was be a solo sheep hunter, I would buy a, a Koa 55 and be done with it because it's superb optically. But I'm looking for something good enough. I think this Razor 11 to 33 by 50 is probably good enough. When I pair it with this Red Mountain Gear piece, this scope is light enough and I'll put it in an old sock instead of this thing to get the weight down even more. So I'll be at 30 ounces uh, because this red mountain gear piece allows me to use my hiking sticks and I'll just have to bring an extra stick or better yet one of those ice axes that uh, has the uh, pole and I have one so I'll, I'll bring it so that's another eight nine ounces which I should have with me anyway so really I'm getting a 30 ounce uh, so I'm, I'm saving 70 full ounces and I'll be that much more mobile uh, when I get the sheep I'm gonna have to go, go out heavy uh, but that's straight line I want to be able to go up there and explore and be easy on my joints and because I'm looking at long-term gain. So my exercise has been slow and steady and I'm going to continue that with sheep hunting. Uh, honestly, when I go solo sheep hunting, my mentality might not be quite what it needs to be because do I, am I even really that passionate? I'm more passionate about the lifestyle of sheep hunting than going out and getting a sheep. So I found this sheep hunting thing to be a really good way to think about life and get up in the mountains and have fun. And if I get a sheep, that's just bonus. But really what I'm trying to do is get, get ready for the good partner, including my son. My son right now is working really, really hard. He's got a job out of town. He starts soon. He's been working in town. He's getting overtime like crazy. He's making as much money as I, as I did uh, early in his career as an engineer one. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to wait for his life to settle down and I want to be there health wise and I could be better. Here's the fantastic thing. I could be fitter at 66 when he's ready to go. I'm 61 now, maybe at 66, he'll be ready to come with me again. If I keep my fitness and I actually get fitter, I could be better in the mountains at 66, as long as I'm easy on myself, as long as I'm careful on myself, as long as I don't exact, exhaust myself. So I'm trying to get a 35 pound, a 40 pound pack uh, with five days of food. Uh, I've got a six pound rifle uh, down to 30 ounces with my optics. I'm not gonna bring binoculars because these are hand holdable. So is this crazy? Maybe, but I'm gonna get some experience and tell you how it went. Here's my deliberations about this instrument, if you're interested. One of the uh, joys of sheep hunting is uh, getting ready. So physically, I'm getting ready. I'm down 41 pounds, still got 20 pounds to go. I still won't exactly be Jason Harrelston, but I'll be credible. Uh, the other thing is your equipment. I got all really good equipment, happy with my rifle. And 7977, a little slow, but that's... Uh... Boy, what is that in the point threes? That's three shots. Yeah, gosh. I think that gun will shoot. Pack, boots, camping equipment, tent, everything. Uh, I'm really happy with this in the cheap Cabela's case is actually a Leica hiding in there. 
It's a fantastic 65 millimeter scope. You can't buy these anymore, but it's 60 ounces. And uh, with the uh, tripod, it's 100 ounces. This is slightly more heavy than my rifle. So if I'm gonna go on a solo hunt, I think I gotta lighten up a little. I looked at my odds and saws, like I got this bell scope from the 60s. It's very, uh, uh, it's got very good uh, resolution, but it's really dim. And these little 50s don't quite cut it. The uh, Minox, uh, not the most, not the best resolution. Uh, and this loophole, I dearly love it. It's only 18 ounces, but with the fixed uh, eyepiece, it's actually, I think, better than the Minox at 20, but definitely there's an advantage to going up in magnification. A 20 power doesn't really cut it. Used to cut it back in Jack O'Connor's day, but that day is kind of gone. So in town, they had one of these. Uh, I don't own this yet, but I brought it home to take a look at it. So let's see how this works. This is a razor. So this is uh, this is 26.3 ounces. Plus it's got a six ounce case, which you'd probably use that case attached to it. So that brings you to 33 ounces. So it's half the weight of the uh, of the Leica. But plus I could run this on a lighter tripod, so I would I would gain about uh, 50 ounces. Um, so I'm losing half my weight. Question is, is it half the instrument too? Or is it a little more than half the instrument? It goes to 33. Theoretically, if we say 50, it'll take you to two kilometers to make some judgments on uh, sheep horn. Then this would take you to, what did I figure out? 1.32 kilometers. So about a mile. So let's see how it works out. We're gonna take it, take a look at our, at our, at our target. We'll see how this stacks up against the Leica. Somebody said, uh, if you're a sheep hunter, all your neighbors, if you're a real sheep hunter, all your neighbors will think you're crazy. So here we are doing some tests in our front where I don't have wind. And the neighbors must be thinking, what is this guy doing? But uh, I got a target on the Eon light post. And... Uh, my first impressions are pretty good on this little instrument. It's uh, bright. And this is at 11. So let's take it up. I definitely lose eye relief when you move up. And you also you lose some of your focus. I really like the focus on this. It's one thing I noticed fooling around last night. Is... With my other scopes on this same target, is it's really hard to focus. The Minox is really chunky. Uh, the loophole is not all that precise. This little fine wheel here, that is actually really good. And I have to crowd it a bit with my glasses, so I definitely lose some eye relief. And then you get a little shake because you're touching it. But that's a very good view. I've got very good color. And I'm able to make out even those small numbers. I've got some pretty good resolution here. Okay, starting. So here's the Leica. Leica is a straight scope. You have to see how much taller I have it, which gives it more wind ability. So the wind is going to shake that more, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, better eye relief on this big instrument. And better resolution. But not by as much as what I was finding yesterday with all my other instrumentation. I actually prefer the focusing ring 
the focusing control on this little little uh, vortex better, uh, but I can get I can get I can read down three more rows with this instrument. I really, if I got to crowd the eyepiece a little, maybe not quite as bad. So I want to take a couple of pictures just to show you what I'm looking at. And uh, this allows you to take pictures. This little phone scope behind. And your phone and uh, basically you don't shake it up and the advantage of this is you can now take a look at your sheep horns and expand them and if you only get a fleeting look you can go back and look at them um, so you can buy this for this scope too this little adapter so I can get about two numbers more with this instrument over the over the uh, loophole so there has been some advances made and this loophole is a nice little instrument but I think the vortex leaves it in the dust except for that great eye relief for that fixed it's just superb like actually get better resolution right through the scope than through the camera. There it goes. Oh, he's tired. Okay, this is at 50 power. How easy do you find it to count the rings? Hard, eh? Okay, I bought both of these guys set up at about 33. At 33, the Leica has got better contrast, brighter. But this little uh, razor is not useless. I can get the full field of view at 33 with the Leica. It's a little more of a struggle with glasses to get the full field of view. Although they say 20 millimeters of uh, eye relief. It really shortens up when you go past 11. Um, so definitely, I'd much rather have the Leica with me. Question is, do I want to carry it? And the answer on solo trips that are rigorous, maybe not. But I'll come out here when they're further away and I'll do some more evaluation. Um... This razor is certainly a real instrument. And if you uh, get it in perfect condition, which I could if it's not perfect position, which I could if I was trying to use both of them, you can get your face into it to get the full field of view. It's just a little harder when you've got less than optimal placement, which will sometimes happen. But uh, it'd be nice to have... Uh, this uh, kind of setup here where you got rams 90 yards away. Okay, how to make sense of this? Uh, one way to look at it is this uh, razor maxes out at 33, where the Leica maxes out at 50. That puts this at 66% of the magnification. But there's other factors. Uh, looking at the sheep horns, I really noticed that there was more contrast and more detail and all that sort of stuff in the Leica, even when they're both set at 30. So I would put this device not at 66%, but certainly not at 50%. I asked originally, is this 50% of the instrument? I would say it's probably 
60% of the instrument of this one, uh, which means if I've got to get a kilometer away uh, <clears throat> with this machine, I'd probably have to get 600 yards away, 600 meters away with this one. If I had to get 500 meters to really count rings, now um, five times six, what is that? 300 meters with this one. Starting to get close enough to get busted. So definitely, this is a better instrument, but this is a usable instrument. Uh, the other thing is, this thing by Red Mountain, it's a little bit finicky, you know, putting the poles in here and getting it all set up. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. I think it's usable for a light, uh, like it, it matches with this, but I think I'd be better off bringing the 20 ounces because really it's either 20 ounces or I have to bring an extra stick solo anyway. So it's really not 20 ounces. It's actually an extra 12 ounces. Plus this is five ounces. So really for the extra weight, I'm thinking of doing this. And in the end, if I'm going solo, the reason I didn't want to buy the Koa is I love this instrument. This is a transitory. When I get stronger, I'm going to take this with me. I'm just going to get strong enough to take these guys with me. Maybe I'll be there. Maybe I won't. I'm glad to have this as an option. If I go with my wife, she's taking the Leica. I'm taking the tripod and I'll take my rifle. If I go with another guy, we're going to flip a coin. Whoever wins the coin cost takes a rifle. The other guy takes the spotting scope. And I would be hard pressed not to have this spotting scope coming with us because I don't think there's anything better. Uh, Swarovski is as good. An 80 millimeter Swarovski might be better, but now you're even put back in more weight. And this is 60 ounces with this cover and everything. It's pretty heavy. So 60%, 100%, and I'd put that uh, Leupold 20 by 50 at like 40% of the range that you'd be able to use. That Leupold 20 is just not enough power. This guy, maybe. Thanks for watching.